An objection is when one of the lawyers has a complaint about a question that's asked by the other lawyer or about some of the evidence that one of the witnesses is going to give. And some of the common objections that you might hear are when the witness is about to give evidence that's hearsay or when the question is irrelevant. Or you might hear a lawyer object if a question in direct examination is leading because in direct examination you can't ask a question that suggests an answer to a witness. Or finally, you might hear a lawyer object if they feel that the other lawyer is badgering the witness, uh, which is probably something you're familiar with from TV where the lawyer just keeps hammering away at the witness with the same question uh, without giving the witness a chance to, uh, to answer it or just keeping uh, because the lawyer doesn't like the answer. So when you have an objection to make, the first thing you want to do is stand up and wait for the judge to recognize that you've stood up. And then once the judge uh, turns to you and gives you an opportunity to speak, you make your objection. And then the other lawyer might uh, respond to the objection and say why they think the question is relevant or why it isn't leading or something like that. And it, there may be an opportunity for you to respond to that. And the key thing to remember is that all of the exchange should go through the judge. So the two lawyers aren't talking to each other. They're always speaking to the judge. After the judge has ruled on an objection, then the lawyer who made the objection sits down and the examination continues in accordance with the judge's ruling. There's no further opportunity to argue about it. Objections are difficult both for the lawyers and for the judges because it's something that you're doing on the fly so you really have to respond to the question that's being asked or the evidence that's being given without having much opportunity to think about it. You have to decide whether it's something you're comfortable with or you have a complaint about and then stand up and object. And the judge has to decide on the fly whether they think it's acceptable, either the question or the evidence is acceptable, uh, and then rule on it. So it's really difficult for everybody involved. The idea is that you'll get a fair bit better at objections uh, the more trials you do because you'll have more experience and you'll be more used to uh, understanding what types of questions and what type of evidence is acceptable and what isn't. An individual at the school. Just one moment, please. Objection, Your Honor. And what is the basis for your objection? Um, the evidence um, is hearsay. All right, any uh, response? Yes, Your Honor. Um, this is basically part of the narrative as to why Donovan Tizzi is a suspect and why he was further sought out to be questioned. And also, this, the rumors aren't going to be used for the truth of the matter. It's just basically for the narrative as to why he was suspected. All right, I'm prepared to admit the evidence as part of the narrative to explain uh, the officer's actions and what happened, but not for the, uh, not for the truth of the contents. Thank Go you, ahead. Thank you. Thank you.